All right, fourth graders, um, your job today is going to be telling us about one of the books that you read this year. Um, you have read a ton of books this year as a fourth grader. You guys have done a fantastic job. A lot of you have worked really hard. Some of the books you have really, really enjoyed. Um, some of the books that you may not have finished because you didn't enjoy them. But your job today is going to be telling us about a book that you did enjoy. Um, one of the best ways to find out about good books is to hear from other people. That's the way that I typically pick up books is if a friend says, oh my gosh, you have to read this book. Um, and so that's one way that I like to get fourth graders to start reading is to hear from you. So your job is going to be to create a short video. And in that video, your first job is going to be to give us the title and the author of your book. You also need a picture of the cover so that if somebody's looking for it, they can find it. Um, another thing that you need to have is a brief um, summary of the story without giving the ending away. We don't want to know what happens at the end of the story because if we already know what happens, then why would we want to read it? So um, a summary without the end. Um, and then why you recommend the story to um, other fourth graders or even fifth graders next year. And then at the end, um, I want you to hook your audience on um, reading it. So kind of think of commercial um, type thing about how to how does um, advertisements get us to want to buy things or see things or read things. Um, think about how you can hook your audience in that. And then I want you to read a small sample of your story, maybe a paragraph um, or two, um, but keep it in the middle or the front of the story so that we don't hear anything from the end. Pick your favorite part, okay? Um, I'm going to give you an example of what that might look like, look like, excuse me, with the book Wonder. Here it is. Hi, today I'm here to recommend a book called Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Are you looking for a book that's full of adventure and friendship? Wonder is bo the book for you. Wonder is a book about a boy named Augie, or August. He's a 10-year-old boy who is formally homeschooled up until his fifth grade year because of medical reasons. And you find out quickly that those medical reasons are because of some birth defects that he had specifically to his face. And this is something that makes him stand out throughout his fifth grade year. This book follows Augie through his fifth grade school year and it goes through the ups and downs. It also helps us see into the hearts and minds of those that are around him, starting to make hard decisions and hard choices on friendships. It's such a great book that reminds us about kindness and why being kind is important. If you are someone who enjoys a funny story, a heartfelt story, and just likes to hear a good ending, this one's for you. Let's take a look at one of my favorite parts. So here's one of my favorite parts way at the beginning of the story when they're talking to each other about whether Augie should go to school or not. Let's take a listen. I usually love when they talk about when I was a baby. Sometimes I want to curl up into a little tiny ball and let them hug and kiss me all over. I miss being a baby, not knowing stuff. But I wasn't in the mood for that now. I don't want to go, I said. How about this? Can you at least meet Mr. Tushman before making up your mind, Mom asked. Mr. Tushman, I said. He's the principal, answered Mom. Mr. Tushman, I repeated. I know, right? Dad answered, smiling and looking at me in the rearview mirror. Can you believe that, Augie? I mean, who on earth would ever agree to a name like Mr. Tushman? I smiled, even though I didn't want to let them see me smile. Dad was the one person in the world who could make me laugh no matter how much I didn't want to laugh. Dad always made everyone laugh. Augie, you know, you should go to that school just so you can hear his name said over the loudspeaker, Dad said excitedly. Can you imagine how funny that would be? Hello, hello, paging Mr. Tushman, he said using a fake high old lady voice. Hi, Mr. Tushman, I see you're running a little behind today. Did you get your rear ended again? What a bum rap. I started laughing, not even because I thought he was being that funny, but because I wasn't in the mood to stay mad anymore. Could be worse, though, Dad continued in his normal voice. Mommy and I had a professor in college called Miss Butt. Mom was laughing now, too. Is that for real, I said. Roberta Butt, Mom answered, raising her hand as if to swear. Bobby Butt. She had huge cheeks, said Dad. Nate, said Mom. What? She had big cheeks. It's all I'm saying. Mom laughed and shook her head at the same time. 
Hey, hey, I know, said Dad excitedly. Let's the Let's fix them up on a blind date. Can you imagine? Miss Butt, meet Mr. Tushman. Mr. Tushman, here's Miss Butt. They could get married and have a bunch of little tushies. <laughs> See, I told you it was funny. If you would like to find more funny events that take place in this story and just have a heartfelt finish, this is a book for you. Check out Wonder today, whether that's at Barnes & Noble or on our Sorrow app for school on your iPad. Check it out today. All right, fourth graders, so that is a short example of um, what a book recommendation would look like. Be creative with it. You can do different backgrounds if you would like, um, but recommend a book for somebody and even for me. Um, I love hearing what you guys are reading and um, what I should be reading this summer. So um, also make sure that you post this assignment to Canvas. Keep up the good work, guys. We are almost finished. You can do it. All right, can't wait to see what you come up with.